Hi folks, Max from GalaxyS3Root.com. So I've got a quick ROM overview of the latest Synergy ROM. Uh, this is one of my favorite ROMs. Uh, this is a release 484, just came out a couple days ago. And uh, you can install it on any of your Galaxy S3 dual cores. Um, do not install on GTI 9300, but if you have an AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, Sprint, or any of the Canadian variants like Rogers, Bell, uh, if you have a dual core Galaxy S3, you can install this. And uh, this is one of the coolest ROMs ever. And let me turn this up here. Uh, because, because you can do multi-window enable for all apps. Alright. And that's not all. You can actually do floating windows. So, boom. Um, so for example, let me say, let me see, let me show you an example where this could be useful. Let's say you're multitasking in, uh, you know, let me just bring two browsers out. And let me go ahead and go to, um, yes, it's also got the floating keyboard, just like a Note 2. Uh, let me go to my site here, Zito Max YouTube channel. And let's say you're watching, you ended up watching one of my videos or something, let's say. And then um, you got an important email to check or whatever. And you want to keep listening to it, simply hit that sticky button. And it's going to stick with you everywhere. And also, uh, you can resize it. Alright, that is really cool. And you go to home and do whatever you need to do. Or you can go back to the browser, sorry. And uh, you can do a ton of things. So that's going, and I can go on my. Oops, I messed up again. Just make sure it's sticky uh, when you do other things. And I can go everywhere, uh, pretty much. You know, have it have anything uh, floating, which is really nice. Uh, sometimes it gets a little bit iffy, um, but you know. I mean, if you don't want it, you can always turn it off. Go to Settings, uh, Display here. Synergize Title Block Control. Just hit uh, Never Display. And now you just have a regular uh, multi-window uh, enabled here. You might have to close all apps beforehand. There we go. So, there we go. And you can also even make it small. Um, different ways you can do it. Uh, so very nice ROM with a lot of features and I know I featured it before but the latest version uh, does have a lot of fixes and for those of you with T-Mobile it should be working flawless I've got the AT&T version 4G LTE working just fine and for those of you who haven't seen this ROM yet um, it does have uh, rotation there and also you got DSP manager for those of you um, with headphones and also gallery app you have the gallery app from Note 2 uh, very nice, very nice. Oops, I'm going backwards here. And uh, for camera, you get two cameras, Photosphere, Android 4.2. Uh, camera, and also regular, I believe this is actually a Note 2 camera, let me see. I'm getting confused. Yep, it has the slow motion and fast motion. So Note 2 camera, and you get Photosphere camera working flawless out of the box. So you get best of uh, both worlds, you know. Microphone, uh, video camcorder working just flawless, and also of course, um, photosphere working just just well, just as well. It's definitely, it has come a long way, and uh, right now it should be stable. You should be able to. I know some of you are having with T-Mobile. Wi-Fi problems. It should be gone with this version. And also, you get S4 S Voice. Um, if you want to check this out, definitely check it out. It's this is kind of cool for uh, if you're if you want to put it into driving mode and stuff. Um, Hi Galaxy, send messages um, and stuff like that. So the newer version you can play with. Also, does come with uh, overclockable kernel, and uh, I've got it overclocked to 1.809 gigahertz, running super fast. And uh, flash player on board, uh, working just fine. And also mobile hotspot, you can use Wi-Fi Tether Trev E mod. Uh, this one is supposed to work for all the carriers, even T-Mobile. The latest, it, this one has the latest Trev E. 
that supposedly works on all the carriers and it does and also let me show you more settings with the lock screen and lock screen options um, you'll be able to get lock screen torch of course just hit that button hit that button once again so that's two buttons if you want to go really fast um, just do this oops it's still on there we go and it's working um, lock, lock screen torch is very nice of course and if you want AOSP lock screen well, you have to t yeah you have to turn the ripple effect off and you do have ripple effect of course uh, for those of you who like to ripple around whoops there we go um so check it out for your Galaxy S3 AT&T T-Mobile Sprint Verizon and uh, yeah I I just love this ROM it's it's got the latest feature it has a feature that nobody else has uh which is the floating point multi window and uh, this this nobody has yet so which is really nice oops uh let me go ahead and uh you'll have to enable it in display if you want to use it let me show it to you just one more time and we're out of time <laughs> all right there we go all right so you can be running your favorite applications and boom and just go home and it'll stay there and you got a nice uh nice nice keyboard there anyway check it out uh for your galaxy s3 and this is kind of uh you know even samsung doesn't have it even galaxy s4 doesn't have it but you can get on your galaxy s3 if you have at and or any of the dual core ones most of the dual core ones sorry um and uh, do use the custom installation for this and um yeah that should be pretty good to go and do let me know what you think of the latest version i think you will like it very much i really like it um and uh, yeah 4g lt working fine on all of them uh, except for timo since it doesn't have 4g lt anyway thanks you guys for watching this video um if you have a galaxy s3 as always don't forget to hit that like button for me here subscribe button down there and also subscribe to my email list at galaxy s3 root.com we update you once a week with rom of the week tips x and more uh, and i'll see you guys soon stay high on android yeah